Revit Pure presents how to make great elevations. Out of the box Revit elevations are boring and flat. As you can see in this project, it doesn't show any depth and it does not represent the actual shape of the building. It doesn't have to be this way though. New features in Revit 2017 allow us to make beautiful and useful elevations. This is a tutorial to get from this ugly elevation to this playful and elegant one. Step number one, set silhouettes at 0.5. Silhouettes makes edge line much wider. To use it, go to graphic display options, click silhouettes menu and select the line type between 0.35 and 0.5 millimeters. Step number two, activate cast shadows. Cast shadows are great to show the actual geometry of your building. Go to graphic display option, select shadows and click on cast shadows. Step number three, set shadow intensity at 15. The default shadows are way too dark. We want them to be more subtle. Click lighting and set the shadows intensity between 10 and 25. Step number four, activate depth queuing. Depth queuing is a new feature from Revit 2017. It fades elements based on their distance. First, activate the tool on the graphic display options menu by clicking depth queuing and then shop depth. Then play around with the settings until you get the look that you want for your building. In this case, we want the left part of the building to be lighter. What about Lineworks? Lineworks is a tool to modify the width of individual lines on a specific view. However, you should not use this feature because it cannot be included in the view template and is not compatible with depth queuing. For example, when I try to change the width of a faded line, it turns black and removes the depth effect. What about Ambient Shadows? Ambient shadows are great in certain cases, but in a black and white view, the shadows are way too intense. As you can see here, the left part of the building is too dark. So it's better to leave the option off. What about colors? If you are doing construction documents, it is better to keep the elevation black and white. However, you should use consistent colors visual style for presentation elevation. Click on the cube icon and select consistent colors. If you are using colors, you should also use ambient shadows. 